So if you have those hard to reach places, obviously you're gonna need a massage gun that has the different grips, right? Wrong. But there is one tip and a couple products that I will show you on how to do that. Now, first, the reason why you don't want those kind of grips is, look, so this is my favorite massage gun personally, and this is the Theragun, Theragun Elite. But look, if I put this right here, look, so you're telling me this slight difference will make all the difference from reaching that spot in your back? No, it doesn't. In fact, you're not going to want your hand even farther out because that's even a bigger reach for you, even on the opposite shoulder or whatever. So that doesn't work. The first product is a massage gun that has an extension on it. Yes, I recently did a review on this. I'll leave the link down below. But this is the Bonder massage gun that has a handle in the case that you can just screw on and that allows you to get that extra reach. Look at this thing. I mean, the hard thing is when you're way down here, you don't have as much leverage. That's where this tip comes in, in a bit. But you have a lot of different area you can cover here. And on that video, I already had a comment saying, thank you so much. This product really helped me hit those other spots I couldn't reach before. So you may want to check out a massage gun that has the right grip. Other product is, yeah, this big old thing. This big old product is called the Back Badger. Now I teased this product a long time ago and the reason I haven't done a video on it is because they were trying to figure a few things out with marketing and different naming and all that. So they sent me this early prototype, but check this out. It's basically just a giant like buckle from like a ski boot and you can put any massage gun in there. You crank it down a few notches till it's tight and you will see that sometimes, depending on your grip, it could start to get that rubber gripping, you know, pulling in and kind of, you know, almost stretching that rubber a little bit. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. But otherwise, this thing allows you to get a ton of leverage. It was designed by a person who got in a car accident and they were a designer, engineer type, and they came up with this very creative idea and marketed it and sent me one to kind of show you guys I think it's a cool idea, and if you're not super flexible, this could come in clutch. I'll leave a link down below if it's the right product for you. But the tip I have works for any massage gun. In fact, even this little guy. All you have to do is take your massage gun, put it behind your back, wherever you want it, and then you lean up against the couch or lean up against something else that's soft, right? You're not gonna wanna lean up against a wall because it's gonna bounce off the wall and it's gonna be really loud, but a nice couch cushion, and then it's gonna allow you to dig in deep onto that spot. That's personally what I do if I need anything like that. In fact, I have a knot right in my shoulder blade. I fell off my mountain bike about four years ago, flipped upside down and <laughs> fell about five feet. So then I landed right on my shoulder blade. So every once in a while, I have to get in there and just dig deep, but it's, you know, I am pretty flexible, so I can hit the spot usually yeah, fairly spot. well, but this massage gun with a longer handle or the back badger could also come in clutch for that. Let me know, did this help you? If so, please consider using that coffee link down below that buys me a cup of coffee or <laughs> caffeine of choice tonight is actually a bang. And by the way, this grape one is fantastic. But either way, I hope this helped. Till next time, thanks for watching.